So we have a little project in Visual Builder Studio, which is a little Rust program that does Hello World. Now, in order to build Rust, we need a Rust compiler. So usually we can create an image from a template, and over uh, here you can see some images that are already based on a template. Um, but the problem is that if you want to create a template or configure a template and you look at the list of software that Oracle provides, Rust is not one of the options. There are many other options, but Rust is simply not there. So instead, what we need to do is we need to base our build executor on a custom image. So we're going to pick this image from an external registry. Okay. In this case, we're going to use Docker Hub, which has an official Rust image. So it's called Rust, and we're going to go and define a custom Docker image. We we'll give it a name. Then we need to specify which registry we're pulling the image from. If it's Docker Hub, you can leave this empty. You need to specify username and password to connect to your registry. And then you need to specify the name of the image that you're pulling and potentially a version number. Again, if you don't know the version number, you can always look up in your Docker registry and check this. I'm just going to look here in the code samples and pick up one of the versions that they're using over here. And I'm gonna use this um, as the version that we're going to use in this Docker image. Then we can specify how many executors we want to have and click add. This has created the Docker image, which right now is pending. And then after the pending, it's gonna switch over to be in building state. And then it's going to pull the image from Docker Hub and actually create the custom image for us. In the meantime, we're going to go into Visual Builder and create a new build job. We're gonna give it a name and we're gonna base it on our custom Docker image called Rust. In the build job, we are going to connect to our Git repository, uh, specifically for the repository that contains the Rust sample. We're gonna automatically run this every time that the code changes in this repository. And then we're going to use a build step that uses the shell script. Because we're running inside the Docker, we can use the Rust command. So for example, Rust C would compile our RS file, we'll create the hello file, and then we can run this file to see the results. All right, so we created the build job and we can now execute it. So this is now going to wait for the executor to come and be available to pick up the job and execute it. Again, while it's waiting for it, we can go over to the organization level and look at our build executors and see the status. So we can see our image, the Docker image is ready. And we also can see that there's an active executor right now. This is right now deploying our Docker image. So again, this is the first time that we're running with this new Docker image. So we need to take the Docker image and deploy it inside the VM. So it would become available, which is what it is right now. And then it will be able to process our build job. So became available, process the build job, it's done. So it's cleared from this view, it's no longer active. If we can go to the build job again, we can now see our build job finished. It's finished successfully. Therefore, we have the green check mark finished just now. We can look at the log. In the log, we'll see that we're actually executing on the Docker. We connect to the Git repository, pull the code over. Then we're executing the Rust compile. We are getting the hello file as a result. And then we're executing it to get the result of hello world. So this is all working. Now let's show you what's gonna happen the next time that you're going to run the build job. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify our code in the Git repository, create a new uh, version and commit it. We're working directly on the main branch. So the minute that we are going to commit the changed file, this is going to invoke a new build job. So it's picking up the build job and it's going to queue it to be executed. We can see it's already in the queue automatically created for us and it's waiting for the executor to run it. Now this time the executor has already been deployed, it's available, so if we actually go to the build executor, we can see there's an active executor which is available already, picking up the build job and executing it. If we go back to the build job, we can now see it finished successfully. Uh, it's the second run of the job, so we can go over here, again, look at the log, and this time we're going to see the new message from our application.